Hi, my name is Alex Nankuda, and my capstone project that I did through King County was a spawning salmon population analysis of my two local creeks, Walker and Miller Creeks. The problem that salmon are facing, particularly coho, is that they are acutely sensitive to 6-PPD, an antioxidant that is present in all vehicle tires. And when the tires are used on roadways, the 6-PPD antioxidant is able to run off and get into the water systems and cause coho to die upon even a short exposure to them, to the product. Um, the benefits of having our stable coho populations are that they are culturally significant to Native American groups, as well as that they are very important to our resident orcas that only feed on salmon, and they're important for our local fisheries. So in my project, I found that um, Miller Creek had a significant amount of more dead salmon, particularly coho, than Walker Creek that did not show having any dead salmon. And my hypothesis for why there were so many more dead salmon in Miller Creek compared to Walker Creek is that based on what you can see in the map on the right, uh, Miller Creek is much longer and goes by many more roadways, including it passes by the freeway, the freeway passes over it twice, which is a very high instance of runoff that would contain a lot of car tire debris that would definitely contain 6PPD. The research questions I had to guide me through this were, um, how does the number of spawning salmon present in the creeks differ? How does the number of reds differ? And how does the number of dead salmon in the creeks differ? Um, the significance of this project is that coho are a sentinel species, meaning that they could be the first to be affected by 6PPD, but they may not be the last, as there may be many more species that can be impacted by this issue. Um, in the picture on the bottom, you can see a successful coho spawning in Walker Creek, which was possibly less contaminated. And on the bottom left, you can see a picture of me surveying with my dog buddy. Um, I'd like to thank King County for giving me the opportunity to do this and Matt Goering um, for helping me through this and uh, making this a very interesting project that I learned a lot from and hopefully that this will build upon the amount of research that's already been done in solving this issue. The only solutions to this problem are to add in sand biofiltration that would be along all roadways passing in front of creeks, stopping the runoff from containing 6PPD, or to replace all car tires with something that is not 6PPD that will no longer cause salmon or other fish to die. Thank you for listening.